Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna. Uh, hello? Oh! This is the crypt terror. I guess there's a crypt involved and probably some terror. 3rd of May, 1336. Human beings were invented by then? Three weeks ago, a curse was bestowed upon the town of Shardorn. Okay, was it the tech speed? Because it's pretty abysmal. Livestock killed, crops desiccated, madness grew. Shrieks and chant were heard from the town's foregone catacomb. Many believed that to be the source of the town's curse. Look, I'm just reading it as it comes on screen, okay? <laughs> Lord Raleigh commanded the town's clergy to go down and rid them of this evil. One by one, they entered the depths of darkness, yet none returned. <laughs> the corruption only grew, and now... By the Lord's order, it is your turn to venture down. Okay. Farewell. Oh, those are people. I thought it was just shrubs. May you rid us of this evil. Okay. If it hasn't worked before, I mean, what makes you think it's gonna work this time? Have you ever heard the definition of insanity? Help. Help me. Well, we're dead. I'm assuming that's the letter E. Okay. E for lantern. Do I have limited fuel? At least I know. I've had enough of that in amnesia. Am I facing the right way? Or is the door gonna be on this side? I'm willing to bet it's on this side. No? Wait, what? Oh. <clears throat> uh. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, we're starting off with a pick a path. I should have known. It's always right. Well, if it's always right, then what happens if I go left? Am I down here alone? Be much of a horror game if I was, huh? Normally, when I hear the bass drums of Valheim double kicking with reverb, I tend to walk the other direction. So let's go this way. Am I in a loop? What? This is one of those kinds of things that a lot of games do, but it always baffles me every single time. I guess we're going down to, I don't know, hell? Well, I don't like this. This looks like a boss room. Are there boss fights in this game? There's a door. That's not normally a great sign. Left mouse to interact. Wait, what? Why am I knocking on the door? Oh. What the heck? It sounded like something hissed at me at the same time. Oh, this feels like I'm getting trapped in here. Oh no, I can crouch. Okay. Wait, now I'm trapped this di this direction. What am I looking at? Um. Knock knock. Anyone home? Nah. Oh, 
it stopped. What? Hello? Oh, those are bodies. I think I found the other priests. And I think I found the reason why I don't want to be down here anymore. That doesn't seem like a great sign, does it? Does this door just outright kill me? Knock knock. Hello? Oh no. Wait. What is that? I was just part of the... the... effect. Uh, no it's not. It's too bright and it's not moving. What am I looking at? Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna- uh. Hello? Oh! Oh my goodness. <sighs> About the time I realized they were eyes. <sighs> okay, so it actually auto-backed me out of that. I didn't have to do that, thank goodness. Cause I would have died. <sighs> wow. This staircase goes down a really long ways. Well, now I'm feeling emboldened. Cause I feel like the game isn't gonna let me die. You know, I just... I don't really wanna... Oh, there is a door out. Oh no, why? Why does this exist? There's a way up over there. <sighs> what? Um. Oh no, why? I hear something whisper behind me as I'm looking at our body. And then... The bass booms from Valheim start up again. I feel like I'm going the direction. Whatever hissed at me. What the heck? What on earth? Oh my goodness, I'm like straining my eyes against the dark. Because I'm afraid there's going to be more eyes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. This big abyss here makes me think of Garden of Ban Ban. <laughs> um, this just ends. Well, I can't, I can't fall off. Okay. Even in games like Elder Scrolls, going into dungeons and stuff is really creepy. Just going underground in general. It's like underground. It's dark. You don't know what else is down here, because you can't see anything. And you're just looking into the darkness, waiting for something to show up. Yeah, like right now. Oh, okay. It turns. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh. If you think for a second, I don't get what this is symbolizing. Light at the end of the tunnel, I'm about to die. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> Just keep going. I don't want to turn around. You're slowing me down. You want me to turn around? <laughs> oh my goodness. I had a feeling that that was about to happen and it still got me. Oh my goodness. I have a feeling there was nothing else to do this because I explored it pretty thoroughly. So we're just going to move on to the next game. I want to get into the next game pretty quickly 
because it's actually made by the same person. So let's just jump into that one real quick. The Witch of Shirdorn Forest. So this is made by the same person that made the Crypt Hair. So I'm expecting very similar gameplay. We'll see if they surprise me. 22nd of March, 1335. Like the 1300s, huh? 14th century was a was a good one, apparently. Last night, the son of Lord Raleigh <laughs> vanished. <laughs> We're doing this again, huh? <laughs> the boy was last seen in the valleys to the east. So the Lord sent his men to search the desolate hills. Yet the town's priest disagreed and spoke of his visions. Your boy traveled west, he told the Lord. Yet Raleigh was never a man of faith and ignored the priest. You, on the other hand, saw the truth, saw truth to the visions. They spoke to you. In the morning, you embarked west towards the forest. The Lord's prize would be great if you're able to return the boy. Okay. Oh, whoa. Wow. Okay. Well, this one's a lot prettier. Goodness. How in the world did you get God Rays in a PSX game? <laughs> Not that I don't like nature walks or anything, but... Oh. I was about to say something kind of happened, but the lighting just changed. Oh, there we go. Oh no. It's... it's going nighttime. <sighs> well. Hope you enjoyed the god rays while they existed, because now the light's gone. And that normally means we're in for a bad time. <laughs> I'll need wood for a fire. Okay. Would you like to tell me where the wood is? Oh. Never mind. I got it. Oh, nope. Only need four. Oh, that was kind of... Kind of pretty. Oh, now it's terrifying. Okay. They forbade searching west. The boy wandered into the valley. Uh-huh. Yep, here I am. Being stalked by the witch of the Sherpeter Forest, or whatever the heck it was called. I feel like something wanted me to come here. Hmm. Oh no. Oh, we're getting jumped by the Witch of Sherby Dorn. Whatever the heck it was called. Oh. Are those eyes? I'm going to abandon my camp and my fire to walk towards an ominous light in the distance. Okay. Let's go say hi to the words of Sherpy Doo. What the heck am I looking at? Oh, it's a house. Okay. Why did the light just now come on? Look, I'm not an advocate for going into houses out in the middle of the woods in general. But definitely not in the middle of the night. Definitely not when you're not invited. And definitely, definitely not when the front door is glowing red. That's normally an indication you should go the other direction. Okay, I'm just going in. Don't need to knock on these doors. I don't like how dark it is in here. Can't do anything with this. 
Can I go under the table? No. Oh, wait. There's a trap door. Okay. Oh. Hello. Can I use this on this? I don't really want to. Thanks for the offer, though. This is wrong. This is not a- why is it- why is the world shaking? There's some atmospheric thunder. Don't close the door. Please don't. Please don't close the door. God damn it. Close the door. Okay. Oh my goodness. Well, I was hoping that would light. I guess it did. Thank you, magic candle. I am being led every step of the way here. Something is intentionally bringing me down here. And I'm just going along with it. Oh, knock knock. Look. Last time I was in one of these games, and there was a tunnel, and a door I had to knock on. It didn't end very well for me. I got eaten by some weird, crawling, dead dude with his head turned upside down. Not really an experience that I want to repeat. Oh, this looks familiar. Oh, this looks really familiar. Am I back in the same catacomb? Is this a sequel? Oh. Oh, well, I probably need that. Don't make me do this. It's gonna make me scoop this out and drink it. Okay, well, just no hesitation at all. Just went for it. Got it. Is this not a cutscene? Oh, it's not a cutscene. Oh my goodness. Hmm, you weren't here before. Knock, knock. Uh, this isn't terribly comfy. Oh my goodness. Well, I can tell you I was nowhere near far enough underground for all of this to be above me. So something tells me when I drank the Hawaiian punch it like teleported me somewhere. That was like the same kind of effect. I don't know what it was called, but <laughs> it was like the one that was inspired by the LiDAR. I should do the LiDAR thing. Anyway. Another episode. But there was like a long range wine scan. You couldn't see anything. And then you do the scan and you realize you're in this massive underground cavern. Because you can't see anything without all the dots there. And the scan places the dots everywhere and you see everything. That's the only way you can see. Where the heck am I going? Is it just me or is the tunnel shrinking? Oh, it's definitely shrinking. Yep, it's shrinking. Or... Am I growing? Am I becoming a giant right now? Is this a prequel? And I'm turning into the monster that killed me in the last game? Well, there goes that theory. Candle's the same size. Dang it. I was hoping I was becoming a giant. That sounds like it'd be fun. Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Got scared by a statue. What on earth are you? Wait, isn't that the thing that killed me in the last game? Just with its head upright? Uh, is that a cage? Is that for me? Uh-huh. Alright. Oh, that's right. I forgot. 
that why we were out out here. Hi. Okay. So I take it there's four keys hidden in this room somewhere. Oh. Knock knock. Very stealth. Okay, there's... Oh. Well, I was about to say there's one, but that's literally all of them. Okay. Oh no. I have a terrible feeling. One of these times I go out here, the kid's not gonna be in there. What the heck? Does that mean I don't need the keys anymore? I feel like that means I don't need the keys anymore. Okay. Oh my goodness! Well, <laughs> Mr. Daniel Buckley here has a very, very good sense of surprise. Like, even if you feel like something's not gonna happen, enough time goes by where you start to feel comfortable again, and then BAM! Something happens. Very good at subverting expectations. Well, I don't know if that one has a alternative ending or not, but it's long enough that I'll just go ahead and let you look for those on your own time if you want to. Links to all the games in this video are in the description, by the way. I think I forgot to say that in the beginning of this video. Alright, next. Hey! Sorry for <laughs> calling you so late, but uh, would you mind going okay. by the house and do a quick cleanup? I, uh, I made a bit of a mess and uh, I need the house cleaned as I have some guests coming over in the morning. Okay, thank you! Oh my goodness, that scared me. Oh my. Um. Game is perfectly fine. I'm jittery. I don't know why. Uh, we might old school this. Because there isn't really anything else I can do. Okay. I'll just make sure that that's off. So it's not distracting. Oh my- <sighs> Hi. Oh my goodness, stop doing that. <laughs> What is this? Okay. Is that a head? I see you there. Not gonna get me this time. Oh no, it's just a piece of paper. Okay. Uh. Okay. Who would put a trash can like this in the bathroom? Hello? Okay. Use the inferior trash can. It's not even a trash can. It's a hamper. Okay. Doors locked requires office key. Okay, that sounded like a cabinet, but there's nothing here. Um, got the fancy loaf of bread out. That's, that's definitely fancy bread. That's something you only get out on the special occasions. My goodness, what on earth were you people doing? Having a mud fight in the house. Can I use a mop? But you know what? Never mind. 
Don't think too much about it. I'll just use it. <laughs> can I open this? Oh, I can. Hey. Wait. Oh. Let's see. I thought I heard something there for a second. I mean, this is a game in the horror category. I assume there's more horrors than just the friggin' mess that's everywhere. <laughs> well, I. <clears throat> you made me choke. It's only giving me the option to go that direction. I really don't like that. Okay. Hi. Oh! I don't want to go that way. Hello? I picked up that key and I didn't read what it was. It wasn't for that door though, so I assume it's for this one. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Friggin' knocking sound effect. I thought that was a face. <sighs> oh, bedroom key. I was just here the whole time. Oh my goodness, you f oh my. It is darker. This whole hallway. All the lights are off now. Oh, I don't like having my back to that. I mean, I would think there'd be something behind that curtain there, but... Might be too cliche. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I don't even know what it was. I didn't see it. <sighs> you know, Lixian made this game. Just, you know, I think the message Lixian is trying to convey is that cleaning isn't worth it. It's very dangerous. You never know what's watching you while you're doing it. So just don't. I'm like paranoid of every single piece of trash I pick up. I don't like this big bed next to me because I'm afraid of what's under it. Especially when I hear knocking noises. Was that always spinning? Well, it's not slowing down. Someone's gonna reach out. No? Okay. I am paranoid. That's what I'm talking about. You're taking, like, soda cans and stuff and throwing them into a, a trash bin that has holes in it. Like, that's a problem. Why is this blocked off? Is there, like, some type of lore implication here? The person that owns this place is secretly a, a cultist, and I'm being sacrificed to a demon right now. And that's where they did the summoning ritual. I just suddenly got that feeling like something was walking up behind me. <sighs> um, this kind of feels like... Perhaps I had the room wrong, but maybe I was right about the lore. Oh 
Oh, I feel like something's coming up behind me. I don't like this. So I'm gonna stand on this side of the room. That way when something does try to kill me, I'll be cornered. Perfect plan. Go home. I know where this is going. It's gonna kill me on the way out. What kind of fool do you take me for? And that's why I hate that bed. I'm just gonna leave. Okay, bye. Doodaloo. Oh, when these doors are still open. I hate this. That dark hallway. Why is the hallway dark? <laughs> oh. The light is flickering. Can I just leave? Is that a thing? Oh, I actually can. <laughs> Did I survive? Hey, thank you so much for cleaning the house. I really appreciate it. Although you did break a very special and very expensive antique and left all the pieces for me to clean. So I'll be deducting that from your payment. So yeah. Okay. Thanks for that. That's alright with me. <laughs> I get to live. And it's only part from my pay. I don't even owe you anything. I will 100% take that. Thank you very much. Oh yes, so by the way, if you don't know who Lixian is, I don't know how you couldn't, but... Um, they're a content creator here on YouTube. But they do streams, they do videos and stuff. Yes, they're also one of Markiplier's editors as well. It is that Lixian. Oh my goodness, it keeps going. Wow. Goodness. Identity crisis dot exa. <laughs> What's in extras? There's three endings. Um, why is one of them called very dead? <laughs> okay. Um, well, if I'm going back in for the other two, I kind of feel like I want these. Light. Mop. Light. Sweep. Lightning. Light. <laughs> Speed runs. When it said trash cans galore, I didn't think it would look like a... I don't know. What does this even look like? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, I need a mop that efficient in real life. Oh, the light's off. Oh, I think I can leave now. I'm about to get jump scared. Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, well. I'm starting to get a sense for it, apparently. <laughs> I don't know why I'm staring at that. Let's just go. Alright. Well, there we go. Well, no bending. Well, glad to know I could count on you to get the job done. Oh, wait! You didn't! You made me look like a fool. Thanks a lot. Oh, and also, you're fired. I can live with that. Thank you. Thank you for firing me. I'd like to never come back if it weren't for the fact that there was another ending. Okay. And jump scare. That's what that was. Okay. So man just hover belly flopping in the hallway. Why is there a trash can upside down on the ceiling? I'm asking questions again. Really, really should know by now to stop doing that. <laughs> I mean, after all, I'm using a mop on the carpet, so 
you know. Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness, I actually forgot about that. That kind of freaked me out a little bit. I'm not gonna lie though, in the corner of my eye there for a second I thought it was just a cat going under the bed until I remembered there's no cats in this game. Smash. Surely this is the other ending. And judging by the name of it, we're about to die. Hello? Oh my goodness! Okay. That's all three of these. Um, it might be a little too late to be saying this, but maybe don't go into my house. I, uh, I remember I kinda summoned a demon and totally forgot about it. Anyways, I uh, hope you're good and healthy and alive. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, bye. I died in your apartment, dude. I'm gonna haunt you forever. <sighs> okay. We made it through. <laughs> Crypt Terror, really good. Witch of Sherba Dooby Doo, whatever the, whatever the forest name was. Really like that one too. Despite not being able to remember what it's called. Um, <laughs> and then of course, Lixian's Late Night Mop. That was pretty fun too. I do want to check out um, Sinking Iron. I want to know if Daniel Buckley has done anything else as well. Definitely some really fun ones. A lot of jump scares. <laughs> A lot of jump scares. But good ones. Alright, well, that's going to be it for this one. So, as always, thanks so much for watching. Um, like and share the video if you enjoyed it, and take care of yourselves. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. A very special thank you to everybody on this list for helping this channel keep growing, and for making videos like this one possible. Your support means the world to me. Thank you so much. If you'd like to see your name on this list, all the details are in the description below. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.